Welcome to a new episode of Hacks and Hobbies with your host, Junaid Ahmed. It's been a while since I've posted any episodes. I have recorded a few, I just haven't posted any. It takes a lot of time uh, just because I haven't been using the Anchor app. Yes, Anchor app is an excellent way to get stuff going especially when everything works but when it doesn't work it's when you find external applications to do the recording bring the content back to the anchor app in this episode i'll go over the findings from doing the hive inspection over the weekend so the plan was to do the bee inspection and since we know that we're going to winter wanted to add one more box on Saskatraz hive since Saskatraz hive is only two boxes and I needed to get that going Alexandria is doing great as far as I've seen so I opened up the hives I started with Al- uh, Alexandria and we took a look inside I removed the top cover, inspect the frames, and everything is full. They've got a ton of stores. They're going to do great overwintering in this hive. Then I was like, all right, let's take a look at Saskatraz because I haven't gone in there in a while. Open the top, remove the top cover, and we have the two empty jars along with some hive beetles hanging out. So remove the two jars, put them away. Then I remove the top cover and I said, okay, let's go inside, start taking a look. I look at the first frame, it's empty, it's not drawn out. Second frame, it's empty, it's not drawn out either. And I was like, all right, let me look at the other side. Same thing. So the new frames that we had added to the Saskatraz hive a few months ago, maybe a month and a half ago, they did not draw out. And I was like, all right, let me call up my mentor. He said he was going to be available today, uh, later today. And it was around five, four o'clock. So I called him up. He said, oh, okay, do you have the hives open right now? I said, yes. I was like, all right, I'll come right over. So he came over, he started going through the frames and they're all empty and he's like, yeah, looking at this brood pattern, they have not been getting enough food to be sustaining a growth and be able to draw out these frames. So you need to be feeding them, you need to be feeding them constantly, making sure that they're getting enough food and it's going on pretty good. So starting off, looking at the hives, my mentor mentioned these Saskatraz bees are not getting enough food and that is one of the reasons we have we don't see the brood stores uh, the way that it should be there there's spotty brood the queen bees not getting enough food these guys are not getting enough food they're not drawing on the frames because they're not getting enough food and the reasons it's called summer dearth is because there's not enough flowers not enough pollen to go around plus these are foreign bees in in one respect so i'm not sure how this hive is going to survive but we're going to do our best to provide them with sugar water and get them through the winter because that is the goal getting through the winter is the goal that all bees all honeybees go through in collecting the stores so there so we put top hive feeder on both alexandria and saskatraz that's the other reason I was not able to I was not able to provide consistent food every week because I was using quart jars. Quart jars is a pain. Uh, sure, it gets you by first couple of weeks when your hive is small, but as soon as your hive is big, they need lots and lots of sugar water to feed the entire hive. Now some hives will also use that same sugar water to put in their stores and they'll end there so they can get through the winter. So this time around I was uh, recommended to use top hive feeder that can store up to four gallons of water. It can store up to four gallons of sugar water, two to one sugar water, one to one sugar water, whichever it is, this can handle it. Plus it has a built-in screen to keep the bees from coming up and drowning themselves in these pools of sugar water so i've installed two top hive uh, feeders for both my hives to help them sustain and create stores the other thing that i did for that we did 
on the Alexandria hive since it is a very strong hive. I put 10 empty frames, uh, 10 medium empty frames on top of the rest of their hive and get them to draw them out. Since we're giving them two and a half gallons of sugar water, and I'll be doing this every week till some till winter comes in, they will have plenty of food to go through and um, build these build out these frames. And then when uh, winter is close, I can move these stores over to Saskatraz, and Saskatraz will have plenty of stores to get through the winter as well. So that is the goal. We're getting both the colonies working hard and drawing out these frames and f storing the stores in there. And um, let's see what happens. So that's what we did over the weekend. Getting back into the swing of things. I'll be. I'll continue educating you about beekeeping and beehives and talking about the different diseases and um, what what to expect the first year. What to expect the next year so stick around thanks again for listening and tuning in to hacks and hobbies